Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with a package that I am very, very excited to unbox. This is a, this was a spontaneous purchase, but this is also my birthday present to myself as well as my husband contributing to this for my birthday. So this one is an emotional one because originally I had written this pen off as one that I would never have in my collection because it was sold out and I had actually talked myself out of this pen because it was sold out and I never thought I would get it. And I said things to myself like, oh, I don't really like the way that it looks. It's not really for me. But every time that I saw it in somebody's pictures on Instagram or saw it in a video on YouTube, there was a slight spark of disappointment in my heart because I knew I didn't have the pen. So when this came in stock at Goulet Pens, I really hummed and hawed over this for a good 24 hours before I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to sell one of my pens to fund this and let's just get to it. Okay, so first things first, a little sticker. Yes, this is from Goulet Pens and they include these stickers which I will definitely put in my ink journal and then you get your Tootsie Pop, which I will give to one of my kids. And then the first thing that I purchased was a Goulet Extra Fine nib. So this is actually a Yovo number six nib and Goulet actually has these. So they don't make them in house, but they put the Goulet logo on there and I got it in gold and an extra fine. So I can put this basically on any of my pens that have, or that hold a Yovo feed and a nib. So that's the first one. The second thing in my order is a Goulet grip. So you guys are like, is this the main thing? Basically, I want to take a pen that doesn't have, well, so basically what you're going to do with this Goulet grip is actually put this over the nib just like so, and then use it to grip onto the nib and help pull it out of the feed or pull the nib and feed out of the, what is that part called? I have, yeah, anyway, the nib and feed section. <laughs> but I wanted that so that I, there was less risk of me uh, damaging the nibs because I do have uh, a few pens that hold Yovo nibs and I do switch them out. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing it properly without any damage to my nibs. So first thing first, nib and Goulet grip. Next thing. is whoa empty ink vials so oh and they even have labels that's fantastic so this is a pack of 10 empty ink vials so that I can spread the ink love and what I mean by that is I love sending samples or giving away samples to friends or you know taking part in ink swaps and I want to make sure that I'm using ink sample vials that aren't going to leak because there's been one in two incidences Sorry, Leanne, where the ink just leaked everywhere with the vials that I use. So I wanna make sure I'm using some good quality ones. So this is what I have here. Then I purchased a sample of Sailor Shikiori Hara Hara. So unlike the Sailor Yurameku inks from last year where I had to purchase every single color, I decided to just purchase one color of the latest Shikiori and that was the Hara Hara. So I will swatch this later. And then last but not least, It is a sailor and I'm not normally one for buying all the different color sailors. I was happy with my white rose gold and my dragon palace and then Christmas pudding came along and I had to buy that. But otherwise, I'm not really all about buying all of the colors of the sailors. I ended up actually selling my Sailor Pro Gear Slim and Dragon Palace to help fund this. So... Oh, upside down. Firstly, cute bookmark. And it's the North America Limited Warranty. Very cute. I mean, a warranty isn't cute, but the bookmark is. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so it comes in a cardboard box. And I'm slipping this off here. There's always something that covers it, and then I'm, it's kind of anticlimactic. But then, ta-da! So you've got the sailor, I guess that's all of the warranty and the instructions, but here it is. It's a sailor 
Mon Sailor Pro Gear Slim and Monyo Nuts. Oh my goodness. It comes with a bottle of Sailor Monyo Shirakashi, which I will swatch this as well. So with the Monyo series, when they first came out, they came in a series of five and each pen was a combination of two different ink colors. So this one was, uh, what was the combination of this one? Let me have a look. So this particular pen was inspired by two Monyo inks and this was inspired by the yellow Sailor Monyo Yamabuki ink and it's also the Sailor Monyo Shirakashi ink, which is the one that is there. So you can see that the yellow, the finials are yellow to match the uh, Yamabuki ink, but then you've also got the little acorn and that's why it's called the Nuts Pen. But I love it because the it's like a brown, gray, olive green, no sparkles in it, but just, it's such a beautiful color with the gold trim and then the yellow finials. And then when you open that up, it has the grip section, which is also yellow to match the cap and the cap and finials there. And then we have the 14 karat medium fine Sailor Gold nib, and it is the newer nib, as you can see by the design. I'll show you what the older Sailor nib looks like. So this is the older Sailor nib. So this is on my Pro Gear, and it does say the 1911 and the 21K. So it does look different. You don't have the 1911 there. But also here's a comparison of the nib differences from the Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim. The Pro Gear has the 21K nib and then the Pro Gear Slim has the 14 karat nib. So in the package, you've got the converter, which is great because some, you know, there's some purchases of the sailors that don't come with a converter and then the ink. And it just comes in this very, I say plush box, but it really is cardboard covered by this really cute lining. So I'm gonna take this out take this out and put these away. So there is the pen and with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim it is a bit of a smaller model but for my hand it actually fits really well unposted but I normally do post this pen and oh gosh how beautiful is that and the threads on here are not sharp at all and there's a teeny tiny step up from the section to the uh, the grip section to the body and if i'm placing my fingers there it's not sharp at all and then just the detail of this look at that so i'm going to go ahead and ink this up with manyo shirakashi i know i said i didn't want any more bottles but this one came with a bottle ink and it's a beautiful brown so let's go ahead and swatch that and ink this up so I'm using my Galen Leather B6 notebook, which has 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. So let's go ahead and start writing. Oh, wondrous. So, sailor. Pro Gear Slim. And the Monyo. Nuts. You can hear that feedback. And yes, there is that feedback, absolutely. So the ink is Sailor Manyo Shirakashi. So this was received March 24th. 2023. Wow. So, flow is really, really good. Oh, did I get some on my hand? And it's not as smooth as a pilot or anything. And I feel like I want to try and put. some brass shims through just to double check there isn't anything there. And the colors of this pen are beautiful. The 
in combination. Is inspired by the yellow sailor Manyo Yamabuki and the brown brown oh I really like this color the brown sailor Manyo Shirakashi. Feedback, yes. And it doesn't, it's not as smooth. It's okay. Good flow. Reverse writing. That's actually slightly smoother than writing the regular way. So I don't know. Am I a little disappointed? Maybe because I was expecting it to be a little bit smoother because my Dragon Palace was definitely smoother. But yeah, I think it's one of those where my sailor, I have to realize that the sailor is never gonna be as smooth as a pilot, for example. And I love the smoothness of a pilot, but it has good feedback. It's not, it's not scratchy. Like maybe going that way, a tiny bit scratchy. But this ink though is beautiful. Good flow. All right, so then let's go ahead and do a proper ink swatch of Shirakashi as well as Sailor Shikiori Hara Hara. All right, so I am ready. So I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different here with the swatching. I'm gonna use the bottom of an ink sample vial to kind of spread it around rather than using a paintbrush. Just trying something different, but also taking uh, inspiration from uh, Leanne likes because she does her circles with her little condiment cup and it's so beautiful. So using the pipette to add a couple of drops. And that's way too much. Putting that in the water. And then doing a little swirl with that, it's not perfect. I don't think mine will ever be, but, ooh, that's so green. Wow. I really like that. It's, not really brown, it's this green. So this is Sailor. Manyo. Shirakashi. And I can still do my little leaf pattern. But I'm really liking these circles because you can see all of that chromo shading in there as it's drying, like you can see the brown, you can see the green, it's absolutely stunning. I really like this ink. Oh, so, so pretty. So pretty. Then the next one, let's cap this first. I'm actually really glad that I got that ink. So the next one, is Sailor Shikiori Hara Hara. Now I was very tempted, like I usually am, to get all of them in the uh, this Shikiori series, but I had to tell myself, no, you do not need them. Ah, got water on the paper. It's okay. So I just need tiny dots. There we go. Then using this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. 
I am glad I got this. So, so glad I got that. And then I'm gonna use my um, my Kakimori brass nib. Oh, you can already see it drying and looking all look at all that chromo shading. I'm gonna just take a tiny bit off the nib there. This is Sailor Shikiori Hara Hara. I like this so much. So pretty. Come on. Just need a little. Oh, look at that. I am in love with this color. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Stunning. So just a closer look at both of those two inks. I mean, if you can see there, there's a little bit of like a dark red around the edges, but it's this greenish brown. I love it. Love that color. And then with the Sailor Hara Hara, it's this beautiful purple. And then even looking at, there's like hints of brown. And maybe if I can look clear, like it's just, I feel like there's also a tiny, maybe it's just me tiny touch of green i don't know but i don't do any of that chromatography so i don't really know the different colors of dye that are used in these inks and i'm just amazed at them i actually really like doing the three different circles i think they're really really pretty and i am not wrecking my paint brushes in any way because the dye doesn't get stuck in them but oh what do you think of these two inks i absolutely love them and I might have to use Hara Hara this month for uh, one of my pens. So there is my whole order from Goulet Pens. Oh, I do really like the look of the Sailor Monio Nuts pen. It's such a great neutral pen and I think I'm gonna, I'm kind of disappointed that I feel like the nib should be a little bit smoother. But, like I feel like I have to work on it a little bit but I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion. I do love the way it looks, but I'm slightly disappointed that maybe the, the nib isn't where I'd like it to be. And for the price of this pen, the nib should be exactly where I want it to be. So we'll work on it, we will see. Um, but I do love the ink, I love the Hara Hara, and then just a few more kind of odds and ends here. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.